Mikey, good evening. Uh, you join me here. Uh, I'm back down on the Club Lake uh, for the fifth time this year. Uh, last time I was here was about two months ago. Uh, I've been away in the meantime, uh, practicing and competing in the Inter Services. So that's taken me up for about the last month. Uh, so yeah, it's now second, the 7th of October. The water has, the temperature has dropped massively since the last time I was here. Last time I was here, I could put a bit of bait in. Uh, now I'm kind of feeling my way into it. I've been fishing for about an hour. I've had three chucks with little bags uh, of uh, goodness and niceness. And we're just having a, a bit of a feel. See if I can see any fish. I've set up on a good winter peg. It's where I had the ghosty from earlier in the year. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a good area. I've seen fish mooching around, so uh, I'm quietly confident for a bite. Uh, I've got a, a rod out on the spot where I had the ghosty from earlier in the year and the other one's roaming. Okay, the status update for the evening. Uh, I've moved the rods around a soupçon. Uh, the right hand rod I've brought in and put a bit of bait over it. The left hand rod is out on its own where I had the ghosty from a few weeks ago. Uh, and uh, that's how it's gonna stay. I'm gonna keep on putting sticks out on the long rod, uh, do it every couple of hours. And the right hand rod's gonna get recast every couple of hours. I probably won't put any more bait on it unless I have a fish. Uh, and we'll see how it goes. Uh, yes, bream will count as fish. Uh, yeah, so I shall, if I don't see you in the middle of the night, I'll see you in the morning. Uh, either way, hopefully there's a carp in my hands. Right, ciao for now. Right, good morning, it's just gone midnight and I've just picked up this mid-double, uh, well, upper-double common. Uh, unfortunately, I've left my camera and scales at home, so I don't know exactly how much it weighs. and it's not a very good picture, but this will have to do, I'm afraid. So, uh, I'll get, rid of, get her back and I'll tell you all about it. Yeah, so I'm well happy. There's another fish from here. It's still not even one o'clock yet. I've uh, got the fish back, sorted my life out, got the rod back out on the spot, put a bit of bait around it. Uh, as I've hooked the fish, it's kited around to the right without me noticing, so I've ended up having to strip down to my pants because it had gone into the tree on the right-hand side of the peg. Uh, so that was a bit of excitement for me. Uh, the water's absolutely freezing, so uh, I'm going to have to be taking it softly, softly on the bait from here on in. But uh, yeah, happy days. That's a fish already. Uh, it's, like I say, it's just coming up on 1am. Uh, I usually, I would have expected one by the morning, so yeah, it's a good start. Uh, it's always room for another one then. And uh, yeah, it's fingers crossed. Like I say, I've given it a little extra shot of bait, put a rig back out on the spot. I'm just going to tie it, have a brew, tie up a couple more hook links now. And then get back to sleep. Yeah, I'm well happy. Right, good morning. Uh, only the one uh, last night, and I've managed to. I've treated myself to a bit of a lay-in. It's half past eight. It's been light for about two hours now, uh, and I've only just really got up. Uh, another thing that's uh, got me up is the fact that I've heard uh, a couple of fish bosh. So as I've got myself up, started walking around, I've seen a fish crash. Uh, about halfway across in line with Big Band Tree on the left hand side. So right rod's gone on that. And then as I was sorting that one out, a fish has crashed right up to my left uh, in a little bay which is just behind me, sort of thing. So I've put the left hand rod up into the mouth of that. And uh, yeah, gonna give it a couple of hours on those. Uh, whilst that's happening, the plan is to put a bit more bait on the right hand rod, uh, on the right hand rod spot where I had the fish from last night. And I'll probably put the bait, put a rod back on that I don't know, about 10 o'clock uh, and then the left hand rod will just be a roamer all day. But yeah, that's the plan. I'm going to leave the camera running for a bit, see if we can't catch a picture of a fish sticking his head out. And uh, other than that, it's it's not a bad session. I've had one, which is more than I've seen elsewhere, but I have slept most quite well all night. Yeah. Anyway, I need a brew, I need to sort my life out, so I shall speak to you in a bit after I've done that.
Right, it's just gone half 11. I'm into the last hour of the session. I'm just doing a slow time pack up as I'm going along. Uh, so to sum it up basically, I had the carp at midnight last night on the short line where I've been feeding. Uh, and the long line I've had nothing. Uh, a couple of dodgy liners and that's about it. Whereas on the short line I've had the carp and a couple of skimmers. Uh, so not really learned a great deal apart from I've got another spot that I've got for fish. Uh, and I've been struggling with my casting for some reason as well. So don't know, need to look at that. I've been out on a field recently but we'll, I'll stop waffling now. Uh, hopefully the, one of the brods will rattle off in the last hour but we're well outside of bite time now. And uh, yeah, if I don't uh, sit here holding the fish up in the next hour or so, I'll see you next time on the bank. Ciao for now.